Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit raw photos easily. I'll share the full process from start to finish. I'll share an easy technique to get amazing color grading on your outdoor images. And we know for that, ado, let's get started. The first step, I'm going to change the color profile from Adobe Color Profile. We change the color profile to the landscape. So this is the landscape. Uh, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to edit the sky. So I'm going to bring details to the sky. To do that, we are going to come here. We are going to create new marks. We are going to click on the sky. And it's going to select the sky like this. We are going to bring back details into the sky. We are going to make the sky warm, very warm like this. We are going to reduce the highlights in the sky. I'm going to add black to the sky. And we are going to add contrast. So then we are going to come to the clarity and the haze. We are going to adjust the clarity and the haze gradually like this. When you adjust clarity and the haze, make sure your clarity doesn't go above 10 and the haze doesn't even go above 5 so that you don't destroy your image at the end of adjust, making adjustments here. So after making these adjustments, you can take a look at the before and the after. Here was the before, here is the after. I'm going to come back here, you see before and after. So we are trying to make the sky very yellow because we want to give it the good in our feel. I'm going to now come into the general image. We are going to click on the auto edit, you see the effect is making the whole thing to look too dark. So we are going to open the light. I'm going to bring back the light. And I'm going to manually make this adjustment since the auto was not giving us, since the auto is not giving us the result we want. So we are going to bring back black. I'm going to come to the color and adjust the temperature and the tint. I'm going to reduce the temperature so that we are going to get correct skin tone. I see the eye now is looking very very red don't worry we'll fix that very soon we we'll adjust the tint the vibrance and the saturation will return their value to zero the values were adjusted from when we click on the auto but now we're returning their values to zero now with this basic adjustment we are going to go into photoshop and from photoshop we'll come back again so we'll click on open to come into photoshop Right here in Photoshop, we are going to crop our image 4x5 as per ratio. We are now going to align the horizontal. If you look, the image looks tilted, so we are now going to align it like this. Look at the ground plane. Once it looks flat, then it looks okay. Once the ground plane is flat enough, we can now know that the image is now well aligned. So now you click on content aware well view so that any of the edges is going to be filled. Now you click on OK. And this is the result we are going to get. I'm going to click on view. I'm going to fit on screen. We're going to remove all this distraction here. And this one here. To do that, we are going to take our lasso tool. Select the car. Come to edit content aware fill. And you can see, voila, it removes the car. But you can see this edge here is not looking all right. That's because the image is being sampled mostly from the sky. So we reduce that effect from there so that more of the grass is being selected. And you see, it has fixed that for us just like this. Now we'll click on OK to come back into Photoshop. Select and deselect. The car is gone. Next, we are going to flatten the image. We are going to take our lasso tool again. What well, we we'll try to select here, you can see that we cannot make multiple selection. To make multiple selection, make sure you tick this icon here. Is the add selection icon, so that we can make multiple selection. Now, come to edit, content a well fill, and voila. The content a well fill will automatically remove the soft box, like this. Come to select now come to deselect I'm going to flatten the image again 
Next thing we are going to do, if you zoom to the model's face, you can see the face is very rough. We are going to smooth the face. And we are easily going to do that using the auto face FS action. So if you have the auto face FS action, come to the auto face FS action and play the action. And it's automatically going to smooth your image for you. Here was the before and here is the after. Here was the before and here is the after. So one click approach to fix your skin issue. It automatically retouch your skin with just one click. And you see how we did that. Now we're going to whiten the eye. So you create a hue saturation adjustment. Come to the red. You are going to desaturate the red. Come to the yellow. You are going to desaturate the yellow. Now you are going to invert the layer marks. To do that, click on the layer mask property. Click on invert to remove the effect. So now you are going to take your brush, make sure the foreground is white, flow 32. And now you are going to paint on the eye like this to remove the reds in the eye and the excessive yellow in the eye. So that's how easy it is to remove. So here was the before, here is the after. You can further smoothen the skin. If you want to smooth the skin furthermore, you are going to right click and flatten the image, come to the auto face FS action. And click on it again and it's going to further smoothen the skin this second smoothening is too much so we are going to add a layer max i'm going to inverse the layer max come to the layer max property inverse the layer max take your brush make sure the foreground is white and paint on the areas of the skin i want to be more smooth so you see the auto face FS action is a one click retouching action. You can get the auto face FS action with the link in the description. It smooths your skin while retaining the skin texture. So we review the smoothness only of the skin so that our whole image doesn't look too soft. So that's how we go about it. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to create a selective color adjustment. We are going to make this adjustment while focusing on the model skin. We are going to increase the reds in the reds, reduce the magenta, thereby increasing the green in the red to give the skin tone an orange look. We are going to cool off the skin tone using the yellows. We are still going to add reds to the yellow and move the magenta to minus. If you move these values to minus, it means you are desaturating the particular ch color channel. So by moving the cyan to minus, magenta to minus, and yellow to minus, you are desaturating the yellow. So see the before and the after, it's affecting the sky. We are going to come to our layer max, invert the layer max, come back to the face of the model, take your soft brown brush, and now paint on the skin to only adjust the colors of the skin. This is very easy. If you've learned any new stuff, please like the video right now. If you haven't already liked the video, please like the video. So right now we are going to create a stamp visible layer with Control Shift Alternate E on your PC keyboard, Command Shift Option E on your Mac. We are going to go to filter. We are going to come back to camera raw filter. Right here in the camera raw filter, we are going to make new adjustment. We are now going to increase the exposure a little bit, increase the contrast, increase the blacks. You see? We are going to reduce the highlights a little bit. I'm going to come to the color section. We are going to make adjustments to the color, to the temperature. We are going to move it to the right and move it to the left and see the one that is more desirable. So we are going to desaturate the temperature that is, we are going to reduce the temperature by minus five. The magenta, we are going to add magenta plus two. You see the vibrance, you see the vibrance, it increases the saturation of the image without destroying the skin tone. If you use the saturation, you see it's going to destroy the skin tone immediately. So we are going to add a little bit of vibrance like this. And I'm going to come back into Photoshop Right here in Photoshop, we are going to create a selective color adjustment. I'm going to come to the blacks. We are going to make adjustments to the black. I'm going to add cyan to the black. We are going to darken the black like this so that we can darken the hair and the outfit. And I'm going to come to the black, to the 
And I'm going to come to the color channel and select the color neutral. I'm going to add cyan to the color neutral, add blues to the color neutral. This color grading method is going to separate the colors into two. It's going to cool off the dark tone and it's going to warm up the brighter tone. Once we are okay with this, we are going to take our elliptical marking tool. I'm going to make a selection on the model's face like this. Create a curves adjustment. I'm going to take down the curves and take up the black point. Take down the mid-tone of the curves and take up the black point. Ctrl I to inverse. On the layer, I'm going to fade out the layer like this. I'm going to reduce the opacity. What we are trying to do is bringing focus to the model's face. So now when you look at the image, you are looking at the beautiful model. So that's what exactly we are doing. See this power line, these power cables? To remove them, we are going to use the spoiling brush. I'm going to create a stamp visible layer with Ctrl Shift Alternate E, Command Shift Option E. Now increase the size of this brush. When you paint, it's going to automatically remove the power line for us, just like this, just paint. And it's gone. Paint. And it's gone. You see it's negatively affecting the hair. I'm going to max that area out. I'm going to create a layer max. Take our brush, make sure the foreground is black. Paint this area to remove that effect. So you see the before these cable lines we are showing and the after they are all gone. Don't forget how we got this smooth skin. Don't forget how we smooth the skin of this model. We use the autoface FS action to smooth the skin. This is the autoface FS action. Link to get the autoface FS action is in the description. So finally to further bring drama to this image and make it stand out more I'm going to create a stamp visible layer, Control Shift Alternate E or Command Shift Option E to create a stamp visible layer. We are going to replace the sky. We can easily do that. Come to Select and click on Sky. And Photoshop is going to automatically select the sky out of the image. You see that this selection is not perfect. Don't worry, we'll refine it using the brush. So just click on the layer marks to create a layer marks. So now we are going to go to our folder if you have a sky folder if you need me to share these folders with you, you let me know in the comments i'll share with you with i'll share them with you for absolutely free absolutely free so we are going to take so we are going to take any of the sky here and try it on our image like this click on ok so if you come to this sky layer marks you know that you have to invert the layer so you come to the layer property, click on invert, and you see how it's going to replace the sky. We will change the blend mode, change the blend mode to soft light or overlay. This is affecting the subject. So we are going to manually remove that. So we are going to take our brush, zoom to our subject, take our brush and paint out this effect from the subject. I'm going to paint out this from the subject like this, from his skin and from the body of the model so that we can leave the sky like this. We can try out any of the sky. You can try out any of the sky. I don't like to waste your time doing that. So without the sky, with the sky. So with the sky, there's more details to this image. I see that we did not leave the blend mode at normal. It looks stupid. We change the blend mode to overlay or soft light overlay. I think I'll leave it at overlay. We can come to filter, blow, gash and blow to blow it a little bit so that it loses focus and looks more realistic. So here was the before and here is the after. It's super, super easy. Finally, we can create a hue saturation adjustment. We desaturate the whole thing. We can desaturate the whole thing. We can desaturate individual colors. So that's left for you. This time to finally stylize your image, give it your own look. I'm going to stop this tutorial at this point. I hope you've learned enough. I hope you've learned a lot. If you learned any new stuff, please like this video. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. Don't forget to adjust your opacity anytime you add any adjustment to your image. Don't forget to adjust your opacity. 
and don't forget how we got this smooth skin we use the autoface fs action link is in the description